Hello there, I am Giant Kuroto, and this is a short video I want to make. It's basically explaining my absence for, uh, well, not up on every video for like a little bit over a week now. And I said that, I explained in my last video right here, as you can see, it's called The Weighted Projects Explained, plus new announcement for my next project. So in this video, I explained why I ended up just deleting uh, some of my projects. And if you want to figure, if you want to know all that, just watch the video. Um, basically, I'll just sum it up real quick. Um, it was just that I wasn't, okay, for, for the Legend of Zelda the Link's Awakening DX, I always needed to look up a guide, for, specifically, specifically Chuck Conway's guide. And, uh, every time I wanted to record that game, I'd have to watch, like, the newest episode to, uh, try and, uh, see what's going on and see what I need to do for that episode. And, uh, that just took too much time, and I wasn't really feeling after a while. Um, Fire Emblem, for example, I should have mentioned the start of this first, okay. Fire Emblem, I just got to a point where, like, I played a, a ship level in Fire Emblem for the Game Boy Advance, and I just couldn't win against the battle no matter what I did, so I was like, ah, oh, man, I might as well just scrap the series and just delete it. And I never really announced or said why I deleted it until that, this video that was uploaded, like, a little bit of a week ago. So I apologize for that. And then for Super Mario Odyssey, the reason why I deleted that project is because uh, I always have to play a little bit ahead, which I don't mind, and getting, so I could get, be familiar with the moons I'm going to collect when I actually record a new episode. And I only got through three episodes, I think, of Odyssey, and then six episodes of uh, the Link, Legends of the Link's Awakening DX, and then also I think I had 15 episodes of Fire Emblem before it got deleted from my channel by me. But uh, I just really want... To enjoy my first playthrough with um of Odyssey, I guess because uh, I want to see how I do and stuff and do it kind of on my own time, kind of like casually play it and just have fun with it. Because with doing, a, I tried doing you know what I usually should do for my channel is play games that recently just came out. Like I tried to do that with Odyssey. I uploaded my first episode, I think, or first part, you know, like November or something when it came out in late uh, October. But like, I always like to enjoy my first playthrough of new games, I guess. And it's fun to do a let's play on it and show it off for the first time and play it for the first time blind, kinda. So you kinda get surprised and get really hyped and stuff. But for me, I, I, I just had t trouble, uh, finding time to record it all the time. I can only record it at my mom's house. I can never really record it at my dad's house. Because he has, my dad has a t HDTV downstairs that I could plug in my Wii U and uh, Switch and stuff and bring over my capture card and stuff, my Elgato. But, um, I kind of wasn't feeling that, and I don't know, I was just, that's why I just ended up deleting off my channel, because I didn't want to continue it as a project. Not saying that any of these three games I'll, I'll never do, but maybe I'll do, um, all three in the future, I don't know. It just depends on how I feel, and when I get better at them, because I'm not really good at Zelda games, to be honest. I died, like, I think ten times on the Genie Bottle Boss in, in Bottle Grotto of, uh, um, Link's Awakening DX, and then if I remember that one boss with the ship and the pirates or whatever it was, that boss was hard. And then Odyssey, I was, I was spending like, maybe like 10 minutes looking for moons, and I couldn't find any for some reason when I all over the place. I mean, there's 800 moons in the game, pretty much. Maybe even, no, there's exactly 999, according to Matt Pistolward, and Sam, no, Sam the TV show knows that. And a Matt Pistol would actually beat the game 100%. I don't, I asked him, hey, why isn't there a thousand moons? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> so, and I know the ending, you know, Mario gets off, well, Mario gets left on the moon with Bowser, but technically I think it's implied that he, he, he jumps on the Odyssey before Peach goes off with it. Because Bowser and Mario were fighting over in the, on the moon and they had like different bouquets. I think Bowser had like a piranha plant bouquet and then, uh, Mario just had some normal flowers and Peach wasn't having it. But Bowser was pretty much off the moon, that's implied. So I know the ending. So yeah. I'll put a spoiler text overlay. Uh, if you didn't, if you don't know the ending of Odyssey, I'll put, um, I'll put a text overlay saying that, hey, a uh, spoiler's coming up, you know? I'm gonna spoil the last boss, or the final boss cutscene, or whatever. At the end cutscene. So I'll put a text overlay saying spoiler and warning you guys if you haven't seen the, uh, final boss cutscene, or whatever. End cutscene, as you could say. So yeah, that's explaining that video. So, when was this video uploaded again? I think it was... I forget. Hello there, I am Giant Yeah, okay, there, there's some sound there. Okay, I got my voice. Okay, so, it was uploaded on February 11th, and today I'm recording this on uh, Tuesday, February 20th of 2018 at 6.21 in the evening, pretty much.
depending on when this gets uh, scheduled for but it may be uploaded on the 20th of February the same day that I'm recording it right now or maybe the next day I don't know it depends on how fast I get edit this to and I said this would be short and sweet but I explained a whole video so I'm sorry uh, false advertising sorry so this game I uploaded this video um, nine days ago so it's been a little bit over a week because a week is seven days obviously so there's that um yeah, I said that in my about to end in the video that I was gonna do Pokemon, my uh, Pokemon Ruby redo walk the card number 14. It's coming soon. It is really coming soon. It's been like nine days since I announced that I was gonna do the project. But, um, I recorded a lot President's Day weekend. President's Day was yesterday, the 19th. And I was with my dad on the, f for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and Monday for President's Day weekend. I was, I was off school yesterday, which was pretty cool. They didn't record this at least on the 19th because it was President's Day. So I, Guess how far I got, you know, if you, like, I'll give you time, I'll pause here for a second. Okay, yeah, if you, like, check it, check it out. I recorded all the way, I recorded at, like, I stopped recording at, like, maybe 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, maybe, f I think it was on 5 o'clock, actually. Uh, uh, on, I stopped recording, I started recording, Feb uh, Friday, last Friday, which was the 16th. At like, I started recording at, at I'd say, one o'clock noon on Friday. And then I then I stopped at my, stopped at my recording session. Well, it's, it wasn't one big recording session. Of course, I took breaks and stuff, and I went to the bathroom and stuff, and watched all TV in between. Cause I, cause I could probably only record like three or four episodes in a row before I'd want to take a break. But yeah, so I I started recording on February sixteenth, uh, Friday. That Friday at like twelve o'clock or noon, or tw twelve. That's the same thing. Twelve o'clock. And or one Central Standard Time, and I stopped recording. Um, stopped recording it completely. Um, in bulk, I guess you could say, on Monday, f uh, February nineteenth, and that was around maybe five o'clock Central Standard Time. So through that time, I recorded up to part thirty-six. Or th I recorded thirty-six videos in the span of four days: sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteenth. Yeah, not even four full days <laughs> of recording, but yeah, four days of recording in bulk. So that means, okay, 36 divided by 4 is 9. 36 divided by 4 is 9. Because 9 times 4 is 36. So I recorded um 9 episodes a day, or roughly an average of 9 episodes a day. Maybe more, maybe less on some days. So I was a busy bee. Um, 36 episodes, and I'm just past... um I'm just past... Uh, beating Wallace, and I'm actually on my way to Evergrande City to uh, catch, uh, to not catch, but to battle the trainers there and to get to Victory Road. Because Evergrande City is before the route, water route, I'm, or after the water route I'm on, and then uh, the Victory Road's in between Evergrande City and the Pokemon League. So, I really, um, I recorded a lot, <laughs> honestly. And I was able to get all eight gym badges, rec record all eight gym badges in my walkthrough guide in, four, in just four days that's crazy that's awesome and I had a good amount of time for breaks and stuff too so um pretty much I have the majority of this project already recorded I have none of it edited though so yeah um also I want to point out that um I'm going to uh usually I have like um let me see I usually have video backgrounds I won't be using these video backgrounds anymore I don't think because for some reason like when I um Recorded um an OBS with the um Visual Boy events, the sidebar kind of the sidebar the black bars on the side kind of changed the size because they're not the um Game Boy Advance. I don't think they're the Game Boy Advance um size anymore. Maybe oh wait they think they are, but um I don't know if I want to still use these actually or if I want to like make like a really cool red um Ruby background for um my project for Pokemon Ruby my walkthrough guide. Or if I, and if I wanna just like make a little s special sidebars for each game. I'm still deciding on that, cause I'm not for sure. Um. Hmm. I don't know. Cause like, I usually, for these backgrounds, I usually, I don't cr like stretch out the image to full screen on everything anymore. As you can tell, I started, uh, started this whole, um, video game background, or uh, back, video backgrounds for like, I think it was Yu-Gi-Oh! on the secret card, so I did my let's play on that. That's when I introduced all this. 
And then, like, for example, if you remember, when I did have my Odyssey videos, like, my three Odyssey videos that I ported, I had, like, a full screen Nintendo Switch, because I know when I was recording with my Elgato, it records, like, full screen, uh, 60 frames per second. Well, honestly, um, it's 30 frames per second at 1080p, because I don't have that Elgato 60S or 60, um, where it records, that, like, HDMI games, or p- games that require an HDMI input. Um, yeah, I, um, can, I can record at 720p with 60 frames per second, but can I want to do at 1080p, but at 30 frames per second? I kind of render out in 30 frames, uh, 60 frames per second though. So, yeah, that's that, I guess. Um, and, uh, if, um, vi- for recording with OBS and Visual Boy, I actually, um, have my OBS settings where I record 60 frames per second. So whenever I do like a emulated game, I record at 60 frames per second because um, OBS records at 60 frames per second as long as you put the right settings in. So that's, I guess, an exception there. But I'm not sure if I want to keep these, uh, keep on using these video backgrounds, or if I want to um, put like make a little background or sidebars f- or like a design for each individual new let's play that I do. I'm still deciding on that because I'm not sure. And of course, you know, I, back to what I was saying is, I usually do, I usually add, whenever my Elgato records, like, um, the video, the video game sets, so like, you know, Wii U game, like Super Smash Brothers for the, um, for the Wii U, um, Smash 4, um, that usually, um, when I record it with my Elgato, because I just have the regular Elgato, um, I usually just, it records, like, every, like, a, most of the screen, but also has like a black back border that's kind of small. For example, I'll show the um, yeah, it looks like this. Like I'm just saying, my design covers the black part of it, where um, it's just like um, just covers the black part of it. So uh, I don't really stretch it out all the way, even though it's it shouldn't make it that big of a difference if I just stretch this over and like in Sony Vegas, you know, and stretch this and stretches. But I don't know. Um, I wanted to do that because I don't like having, like, you know, for example, uh, I, I believe Game Boy Color games kind of look really stretched out if you have a, if you have it stretched out full screen to where it takes up the whole screen, uh, like, the video player for YouTube. So, like, I like having, you know, a, um, you know, design like this where it doesn't feel stretched out and stuff, because I realize that when you stretch it out that much, it can stretch the pixels, I think, and it looks kind of... It just looks stretched out and doesn't look as good as if you could just like make it its normal like view, normal like um, you know when you play the game like a, if you play on like a Game Boy Color for for example Pokemon Crystal there'll be like little backgrounds I think there'll be fill the like the little square of the, for the screen or for like example I bought um Pokemon Crystal off the Nintendo 3DS eShop I think about a week and a half ago, and uh, by the way I'm at Icefall Cave so I have like seven gym badges so that's pretty cool I like my team I'm using a um. I want it, my, my EVA still hasn't evolved into Espeon, even though I've trained at like 14 levels since it was level 20. Um, and I've been training in the morning and made sure it, I've, my, I've made sure the massager in, uh, Goldron City has, um, was massaged at least, at least once, but I, I don't think that's enough actually. But, um, and I've never let it faint, <laughs> and I've been only training in the morning, making sure it levels up only in the morning, because that's when uh, what it takes to evolve an EV into Espeon. And then I'm also, I started with a uh, Cyndaquil, so now I have a Typhlosion actually, which is pretty cool. I think my Typhlosion just evolved. Well, no, I think I, I think I may still have a qual, qual Lava actually, I'm not sure, because I think it's like level 34 and I evolved as a level 36. And I'm using a Noctowl, I get what you call it for that. I'm using a Graveler. Which I usually, uh, which I call Geo Dude, for, uh, involved in the Graveler. And I traded, um, an Abra for a Machop in Golden Rod City. I think for, um, Ruby, uh, for Gold and Silver, it's, you trade a Drowsy to get, um, um, to get Machop, um, in that trade in a Golden Rod. Otherwise, you have to wait till, like, a Mount Mortar or something, like, the end of the game to catch a Machop, which is kind of weird. But, like, I just traded for it. And, it's, and now it's a Machoke, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna ask Matt Pistolward if you can trade, uh, help me trade over trade him um my graveler and my choke to evolve into a champ and uh, golem because i helped him evolve his haunter into a gengar by helping him trade so that's pretty cool and uh who else am i using i'm using a slowpoke that evolves at level 37 into sober i believe it's like over 34 right now so it's just it's still slowpoke and then guess like graveler machoke um noctowl uh slowpoke 
Eevee and what's my other Pokemon? Um, hmm, I don't I don't really remember. Um, I do, I don't remember that's five out of six. So yeah, forget who I'm using still. Oh, uh, I don't know. I forget honestly. So yeah, um, I just want to explain that you know. It's the Pokemon Ruby Redux Walk to Guide part will, or Walk to Guide will come soon because I have like the majority of it. I have like, I'd say I have 80% of the game recorded already. You know, all I have to do is go to, go through this water route to get to Evergrande City, go through Victory Road, um, Battle Wall at the end of Victory Road, and then take on the Pokemon League. And then after the after game will be me catching Rayquaza, the Regis, which I have to get to Pacific Lock Town for that. And after game, I guess, because I'm not gonna do that within the main story or before I beat the Pokemon League, because I think I wait till after to catch all the legendaries, I guess. And uh yeah, that's pretty cool. Other than that, um, I'm glad I made a video, and I'm just deciding whether I want to use video backgrounds or not. My own video backgrounds, or like make it like new video backgrounds uh, that are unique to each project that I do. I forget. I don't know if I want to do that. Um. I think honestly, I would be kind of happy if I uh made individual ba video backgrounds for all my projects that would cover the black part of the that's not recorded that's not recording the screen you know the black bars or whatever the board or whatever it is, and if it's like a switch game like where my Elgato doesn't record if it records it full screen where there's like no back no black border or box side bars, then I'll just keep it full screen then I think I do wanna. Uh, start using you know unique um, designs for c covering those that black part. Um, so yeah, and cause um I don't know it'd be kind of cool it'd be like more I guess interesting because if it's saying I'm not Game Grumps honestly because Game Grumps has like an orange theme that they've always been using that covers the black part where it's not being quite the screen. Um, so yeah. But I'm no longer probably gonna go back to stretching the video to be full screen for like all my videos, cause uh sometimes it doesn't look good on like of course Game Boy Color games as I told you guys, cause it looks stretched out and stuff. So yeah, that's that. So guys, thank you for 1,911 subscribers, and thank you guys for a million, a uh, million total upload views, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for listening. I'm sorry that this is a longer video, but I want to explain everything. Hopefully I explained everything. If I didn't explain everything, I'll put a text overlay. Or as I go along, I'll add something in a text overlay if I need to. So yeah, so this has been Jacko again. I'm the Thibs King King. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys in my next video.